Take my hand, together we'll fall now, we'll fall now. Okay, so this is going to be my two-week postpartum. I'm going to talk really quiet because baby's right there and she's asleep right now. She just ate. Okay, so within the last week, um, for me, postpartum-wise, not a lot has changed. Um, my incision is looking a lot better. It doesn't really give me any pain whatsoever anymore. Um, I still really can't do a lot of bending at the waist. It That's kind of painful and it pulls the muscles. Um, I can't carry her car seat. That's a little bit too heavy. I can carry her, just not her car seat. Um, and other than that, it's uh, the last doctor's appointment I had when they checked the incision. They said it was looking good. My blood pressure is still ridiculously high. So I'm still taking um, Labtol or whatever it's called to try to regulate my blood pressure and get that back under control. And if by my six week checkup my blood pressure isn't back to what it should be normally, they're going to send me to a specialist to see what's causing um, my blood pressure to be that high. Um, other than that, like, I'm not nursing anymore. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And that was, and still is, a really hurtful thing for me. And it's really depressing, especially, like, when I'm holding my daughter. And she turns her head towards me and will open her mouth and bite down on my boob, like, through my shirt. And I know that's what she wants, and I can't give it to her. Um... That started last week, like on Friday, no Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, it started Wednesday or Thursday, like I could put her on the breast and she would stay on there and suck and suck really good and continuously for 20-30 minutes and pull her off and she would act like she was just starving. Um, and so I was trying to pump more and express more milk to give her through that method because for whatever reason I thought maybe she was having issues with latching or I was having let down issues but the problem with that was even pumping I wasn't hardly getting anything like whereas I could easily get about two ounces off each breast um, I wasn't even able to get one ounce on both breasts combined so I had to over the weekend make the decision to put her on formula to start supplementing with that because I knew she wasn't getting the nutrition that she needed to get and that she was really hungry that was making her really fussy and really just being difficult on me and Sam to handle her and so I called her pediatrician to see what formula he would recommend buying and then I went to Walmart and I came home and I cried my eyes out when I gave her that first bottle like I was so upset and at the same time I was so relieved just because I had been so scared that she was going to lose weight and that she was going to be really hungry and starving and that it was going to wind up like making us have to take her to the hospital and her be in like some intensive neonatal care unit or something like I was just so scared that I don't know like that even just you know, going for that not even 48 hours without, like, eating properly was really going to damage her. Like, I felt horrible, and I still feel horrible, and she's opening her eyes. She's still asleep. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, so, with that, for whatever reason, my milk started drying up, and right now, like, I'm still wearing nursing pads, but I'm not leaking hardly. Uh oh. Okay, no, it was just a stretch. Um, I'm not leaking hardly at all. Um, I can, like, express a few drops manually with my hands, but that's about it. So, breastfeeding is done for me, and for whatever reason, it just did not work out. Um, I plan to talk to my doctor and see what they think uh, was the cause of all that, but. 
I just know that it wasn't working and as bad as I feel about it, I had to do the next best thing for my daughter and I had to put her on formula just to make sure that she was going to be getting nutrition and being able to eat. Um, and you know, I, I expect like a lot of people will judge me on that because everybody knew that I was going to breastfeed and stuff and even myself like I set myself up saying I was going to try and I was so adamant about that and then like within the first week after having her I was just so confident in the breastfeeding and thinking that it was so established and that it was going to work and it was going to be exactly what I thought that when it kind of started to backfire it was a huge like it was like the wall of the dam just fell for me so you know keep that in mind when you set out to do something a certain way with your child like if you set out to breastfeed just remember that it might not always work um and not to have your heart set on that like I'm really glad that I wasn't set on a vaginal delivery because I would have been disappointed because I'll be honest um I I would not take back my decision to have that c-section for the world just because it saved her life but at the same time after I had her like a few hours later I started feeling kind of sad and since then I have felt kind of oh my gosh um, I'm not gonna answer that I have felt kind of like <sighs> no I'm not answering <laughs> I have felt like kind of depressed that I didn't get to experience a natural vaginal birth, but um, you know, not everything works out the way you plan. So otherwise, postpartum for me, I feel like my body is really starting to return to normal. Um, a lot of the issues that I had are completely resolved. No more swelling. Obviously, still high blood pressure. Um, I have an appointment with my OBGYN this week on Wednesday. And today is Monday the 15th. Um, gee, let me see. What else? I'm still bleeding. Um, it's really, really super light. Like, it's almost to the point where there's no point in me wearing a pad anymore. And I'm probably going to switch to just wearing panty liners here soon. Just because it's so minuscule. Um... <clears throat> Other than that, like my stomach, I, I will say this, I don't know what it's like if you have vaginal delivery, but my stomach is just absolutely disgusting. Like, my stretch marks are all wrinkled, and my skin is so saggy and nasty. It looks so disgusting. Um, it has, I've noticed, started to tighten up and started to look a little bit better. It definitely looks a lot better than the first time I looked at it in the mirror at the hospital when I wasn't even 48 hours postpartum. It was so bad, like, for especially the first few days and the first week. Um, the second week, it's starting to look a little better, but it still does not look pretty at all. Um... And as for, like, the incision with the scar that I think it's going to leave, I think it's going to be a really light scar. I might be wrong. Um, I might, I, I don't know, I might be wrong. But, I'm pretty sure that is about all I have postpartum on myself. This week has not really changed much of anything with how my body's healing. It's, I mean, it's doing its own thing, and it's working on it. And it's getting um, better than it was. So that is that. So that is my two-week postpartum update. Um, I'll put some pictures of what my stomach is looking like now two weeks after having my daughter. Bye, guys.